Drops de Ciência. Resumos de grandes notícias com cientistas e acadêmicos brasileiros, você confere aqui. No dia 30 de setembro, durante o Simpósio Internacional Sociedade e Natureza, organizado pela ABC, o sociólogo Cláudio Beato Filho compartilhou algumas estatísticas sobre a evolução e a natureza do crime no Brasil e expôs algumas classificações possíveis para a origem e a disseminação da criminalidade. In the past, the southeast is the region that concentrated more the, the homicides in the country. No? It's interesting because this is the region where the federal government put more investment in the last years. We, we change a lot in terms of inequality, we change a lot in terms of economic development, and despite that we have an incredible uh, increase in the crime rates. The first law of geography says that everything is related to everything else, but near things are more related than distant things. There are two dimensions to organize the analysis of crime in urban centers. The crime opportunity uh, structure to crime, crime happens, and the social disorganization. When you see, for example, the downtown, we have some variables like population density, the number of teenagers in the streets, and, and specific time variables that explain the concentration of crime in the downtown <coughs> area. No? This is especially uh, a case for the opportunity explanation for the, the crime. When you look in another region of the city, we have another explanation related to the social organization. Personal crime in North region is explained by variables like single head family, teenagers, social development index, and rented houses. 